Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well. It's another miserable day outside and another day at the desk in front of my computer working on images. And yeah, in this video I wanted to talk about this image here. So I took this image in my previous vlog uh, up in the woodlands. Uh, I titled this image Archimedes and it's a lovely frame. It's one of my favourite photos and I just love this tree. Um, and I used luminosity masks in order to edit this shot. I, I did a basic edit in Lightroom and then I applied certain luminosity masks in Photoshop in order to edit this uh, how I felt I wanted to edit it. It's a very high dynamic scene. We've got very dark shadows and we've got very bright highlights up in the mist over there. And the dynamic range of my camera is fine and I can tweak things how I wanted to, but in order to push things further and make things look how I wanted to to make them look. Uh, I needed to use luminosity masks in Photoshop in order to, to get this edit how I wanted. So we're not going to look at luminosity masks in Photoshop in this video because it's uh, it's an absolute minefield and there's lots and lots to learn there and I'm still just scratching the surface on it really but there is a tool in Lightroom that you can use that is essentially like a luminosity mask in Photoshop. Uh, it's a really, really good tool and it is in the radial filters and the uh, graduated filters. So this is the image that I shot the other day and this is the finished edit. As you can see, we've got nice soft mist up in the background there, dark shadows. And this is the edit that I've edited in Lightroom um, without any luminosity mask. So this is just a basic edit. I've pushed things and got things to sit how I want to kind of make it sit, but it's missing something. The, the, the photo is missing something. Um, I want to try and push these whites up in the up in the mist over here and make them pop a little bit more without affecting the rest of the image. Uh, and for those of you that don't know what a luminosity mask, a luminosity mask is basically like picking a certain part of the brightness, if you like, of an image. So you can pick a certain bit of it and then only affect that part of the image. So you can tell your brush in Photoshop to just affect this part of the brightness and paint in whatever you want within that part of the brightness. So for example, in this shot right here, we've got a lot of bright highlights behind the tree. So I can apply a luminosity mask to that bright bit that bright part behind the tree and change it and enhance it and make it whiter, make it softer uh, without affecting the tree itself. Uh, and it can be very difficult if you wanted to go in with a brush and um, do it on a shot like this if you didn't use a luminosity mask. So we're gonna dive straight in and we're gonna go up to our graduated filter up the top here. Uh, I'm just gonna put it down, um, put it down from the top because we wanna change the the whiteness and the brightness of this fog in the background and just make it punchy and make it stand out a bit more. So I'm just going to pull down the grad somewhere around about there. It doesn't have to be too accurate, somewhere around about there. And then down the bottom here in your graduated filter panel, you'll see a little tab called range mask. Go and click on that and click on luminance. And if you click show luminance mask right here, it's going to pop up in red. So everything in red now is going to be affected by what we do on the right hand side over here. But just down below where we clicked show luminance mask, there's a range slider. You don't get as much precision as you would in Photoshop, but this is the next best thing. And it, it's a really, really good tool. So we want to just affect the bright parts of this image. We don't want to affect the tree. We don't want to affect the bottom bit. Uh, we just want to affect the brighter parts of this image. So we're going to slide this bottom end. So this is the dark bit and this is the light bit. So we're going to slide it up. And as you can see now, if you watch the image, as I slide it up, it's affecting less and less and less of the darker parts of the image. So just the red parts of this graduated filter are going to be affected and the black and white will remain as it is. Uh, and this is a luminosity mask. So we're going to pick something around about there. You've got a softness tool down the bottom here as well, so you can make it even softer if you want to or make it harder. And as you can see there, there's a luminosity mask working as it should. It's recognized that we just want these brighter bits. We don't want to be affecting these darker bits. Um, but that's going to look quite weird. So I'm going to just soften the edge slightly to make it look even more subtle. Something, something like that. And then we can uncheck it. Now our luminosity mask is applied to that graduated filter. We're just going to be affecting those bright bits. Um, so let's lift exposure to see if it's worked. So, and there you go. So now we can see that just by lifting the exposure, we are just changing the brighter parts of this photo. And that already gives us so much more editing uh, choices to do. There's just so much more now you can do. You can pick certain parts of the image 
to change if you want to and enhance a little bit there, darken this bit a little bit there, enhance it there, soften this bit. The possibilities of this are just endless. So I'm going to lift up the exposure on this dark bit slightly. So let's take it back to where it was. We're just gonna lift it up and we're just gonna soften it. It is thick fog back there. So we're just gonna soften up a little bit more. We're gonna drop the clarity, drop the dehaze a little bit, drop the contrast, increase the saturation slightly because I like that blue. And somewhere around about there already is starting to look lovely, really, really nice. And just down the bottom here, we can check it on and off. And we can see what that luminosity mask has done. And as you can see, it's a huge difference, massive difference. So you're happy with the brighter parts of this image now and say that I want to change the bottom bit down here. Say I want to bring some more color into these leaves and make them pop a little bit more, make them just stand out a bit more. We can pull in another mask. So let's pull one in from the bottom this time. Uh, again, don't have to be too accurate, somewhere around about there. Again, we're going to go down to our range mask and we're going to select luminance, show luminosity mask. Now, I don't really want to be changing the shadows and the darker parts of this image, so you could do if you wanted to. You could take off the top edge and just scroll down, but there's not much shadows down there. It's just mainly highlights and the brighter parts. So we want to be pushing up that luminosity mask, getting rid of the shadows because we don't need to affect the black parts of the image because it's a dark image anyway. And I just want to bring some more color and some more, you know, punch into these leaves. And you can change and move the luminosity mask around as much as you want. As you can see though, it's not affecting the tree, it's not affecting anything else, just apart from the brighter parts of these leaves down here on the floor. Uh, and when we're happy with our selection, uncheck luminance mask and then we're just going to play around a little bit let's warm it up and we're just watching let me go to the extreme so you guys can see on youtube but you can see now if i go to the extreme i can change the color of the leaves bring back some of that color if i want to we can brighten them up if we want to we can do anything we want and we've got such freedom and such maneuverability and just a very very subtle enhancement there but this is a good thing about luminosity masks and this is the way that you should treat your edits is is treat them very very subtly if you do things drastically and quickly then it's going to look strange in places but if you do things bit by bit a bit like a painter just adding paint bit by bit by bit and just changing things slightly and doing it slowly. So not only can you do this with uh, graduated filters, you can do this with your radial tool as well. So just up next to your graduated filter, you've got a radial brush. So we could, if we wanted to enhance these highlights over here in this brighter part of the image even more, we could apply a radial filter just like that. Go down and select our luminance, select the luminance mask, and then invert it because it's the wrong way around and just select those brighter parts. Again, sliding up the luminance values, maybe make it a little bit bigger, somewhere around about there. You can see the tree is not gonna be affected. It's just gonna be the brighter parts of the image. And then we can just lift up the exposure a little bit more. There is a pocket of light up there, so let's enhance it. Let's make it look like it's bright and popping and just really, really punchy. And there you go, all of a sudden, I've kind of done pretty much exactly what I did in the Photoshop edit. There's the Photoshop edit. There's my Lightroom edit. In a couple of seconds, I've applied a couple of luminosity masks and already transformed this image. Now, you do have these um, tools at your disposal all the time, all the graduated filters and the radial filters, and you can play around. But just being able to be very selective with how you use these filters uh, can transform the way that you edit. It can transform the way you think, and it can really, really enhance your images. So just a quick one from me today. Uh, I hope it's given you some inspiration, and I hope you've learned something, and I hope you can go now and look into your Lightroom catalog and have a little play with your images uh, and apply these luminosity masks in Lightroom because you don't really need Photoshop to do this sort of thing. You can apply certain luminosity masks to your photographs right in Lightroom and it is dead, dead easy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Give us a like, tell us what you think down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.